Hi, so I've been doing consistent characters in Mid Journey for a while now, but with the introduction of Mid Journey version 5, there's just been so much more detail that's come in with like the clothes and stuff like that, and I love doing fashion. So, what this demo is going to be is to show how to get the characters or uh, a design or model in a consistent outfit from different uh, profiles or different views. So I'm going to do four different prompt methods. Okay, so it's only going to be using prompts, uh, nothing else. Okay, so we'll start. Okay, so the first method is going to be what I call the panel method. So you can use it um, two panels, three panels, four panels. For my first demo, I did it with six panels, but I realized that with version 5, the more panels that it does, it kind of gets distorted. So, so far the best that has worked for me is going up to maximum four panels. So we'll just start. Okay, so I'm going to take first two panels. So, and you have two options. It's two panels with different dynamic poses or two panels with different dynamic views. They, they're kind of different, so I'll do both. Okay, so let's copy that. Well, usual forward slash imagine. And that's the first one. Okay, so the next one, do the steampunk outfit. Now we're doing the view. Okay, so I'll show you with the three panels just for comparison. All right, let's see. Let's do the beach one. Okay, so those are the panels. So now we go back through, we'll just wait for them to finish. Okay, so you'll see here, sometimes it does change the clothes, but you'll often get one that is pretty consistent. Okay, so for example, these two here are quite consistent. Okay, so I will upscale number two and number three. Okay, so this is the four panels now. Okay, so you'll see here, pretty consistent throughout. Okay, so this is two panels with different dynamic views. Let's see. All right, so this one, it's quite similar, but it did a different lighting. So that's what changes. So let's try rerun this one. Okay, so this is the one with three panels. And I, so another thing is you can add more detail. Like for example, I specify the type of hair and then also the clothes. Sometimes though, it doesn't always stick with the same clothes. It, sometimes it's like there's an information overload. So if it's a little too detailed, I've noticed it kind of falls apart there as well. So let's upscale four. Okay, so that would be a pretty good fashion one. I uh, like the way the material is flowing. It's another nice fashion one. Okay, so now we've come to the four panels. All right, so. This one kind of fell apart in the end, so I'm going to rerun this one. Okay, so this is the two panels with different dynamic views. Okay, we are starting to get more similarity here. The outfit has changed from kind of being closed to open though. 
So this is the one with views. So I found that the one with angles tends to work out better. So I won't rerun this one because this is just a demo. But if you were to try it and do some more reruns, you would see that it would get closer to having similar outfits. Okay, so we'll just wait for this one here and then we'll go to the next method. All right, so here we are. Mm. I'm not really liking any of the outfits that much. Um, but okay, so that wasn't the point of this uh, demo. But so this would have been one outfit here that had uh, some similarities. The rest. Uh, maybe even this one. Yeah, okay, so also this one. But um, they're not outfits that I like as much. So I won't rerun this one. As I want us to go to the next method. Okay. Okay, I could just rerun it to show you. <laughs> okay, so I'll do that. And then, so the next one is just describing the model or the design and add in from different angles. So let's take this one here, black female fashion model. Okay. And she's wearing a steampunk outfit from different angles. Okay, and let's try this one as well. That's also another. So You'll see sometimes I add photo up and sometimes I don't. It's a really, it just depends. I don't have a specific reason for doing it, but if I see that it's starting to look too much like um, cartoon or comic, then I'll do photo up. Oh, okay, so we're getting some more dresses with the four panel. This style kind of started off cute okay again let me skip because it's not the purpose of this demo okay uh, all right so here we have quite a similar outfit we can up upscale that one and just see Okay, so this is, the, oh, yeah, so these ones are turning out quite similar with the dresses. Oh, I love the ruching over here, that's really nice. And even I feel this pattern, but I don't know that I, oh, again, sorry, off, going off topic. <laughs> Okay. All right, so this was from the different angles. Again, this one I added photo of, and then different angles. Okay, so let's try add photo of to this one and see if it does. just to see what it does. I was just doing it randomly just based on how I wanted the image to look. Okay, so this is another... This one was a smiling one. Again, it's the different angles. And the dress is pretty consistent. Okay, so... Okay, I think I ran that twice that's why I was wondering okay oh that's interesting okay so adding photo of makes it more consistent so you have a lot more consistency and I quite like these outfits they're really nice okay all right so that is that one 
Next one is going to be views. Okay, so um, this one, we'll use this first sample here. And that is photo of a female fashion model wearing a cyberpunk outfit from different views. Okay, so that's that first one. Next one, I'll take a red sports car. I tried with this with animals as well. Like all these different uh, same options that I'm showing here. This is just to give you an idea of the differences between them. And the great thing with the mid journey is I really like how you have so many different uh, methods to get all these different view viewpoints. Okay, so this is the one with different views. Oh, this is a really cool outfit. I like this one. Okay, gotta upscale that. Okay, so this is using a car, again, uh, from different views. You'll see the similarities in the design. Um, this one's slight difference here. But the car's facing the other way, so it'd be more, I'd expect that to be more here. But yeah, so here's his outfit, and it's quite similar from the glasses to the model herself, and basically how the outfit is set up. And again, so this one I did four different views. A few differences. And then this one I did four different views of a red sports car. So you can basically play around with all these different types of prompts. It's to do going to be to do with the, um, the position you're on, uh, like front, back, sides. So that's going to be the next one that we do. Okay, so here we'll do again photo of a patch model. Oh, I'm sorry. I really just noticed that all my examples are with women. Sorry, it's just because I look for the clothes that I think will be nice to wear, so. Okay, let's go back here. And then we'll do another one. I typically do cars. Usually I'll do like other machinery, but not car, it's not too often. Okay, so there was some similarity there with that car, even though it's quite different. Okay, so here we are. This is the outfit from front, back, and sides. I've noticed it typically does a front and the back. Not too often and will it do like a side profile. I could probably add that. Uh, it, it pretty much gives me what I'm looking for when I'm doing these uh, photo type of things. Okay, so quite like this outfit. I like the red boots. This could also be interesting. I like the colors. Okay, so I'll upscale those two. Okay, so then the next one is actually going to be a mix of the two. So you can mix it, do a dynamic view or dynamic pose, and then mix it with the different angles. Okay, so we'll just do this first one as an example here. Okay. 
Okay, so this one, you'll notice that it actually makes the outfits uh, more similar than just using the one single type of prompt. Yeah, so this would be an example where I would add photo, because this one is almost looking like a drawing. It's more artistic. So if I wanted to look more realistic, then I would put photo. Okay, so basically that's about it. So it's basically those prompt methods. So hopefully that was helpful.